check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's going on, Lobro? Little curious not to know. See, today I'm going to talk about this uh, documentary. It's called Interaction Next Door. It came out in 23. It's a HBO documentary. You can watch, watch it on the Max app right now. So, the documentary is about interviewing people who were involved during the attacks of the Capitol on January 6th. So, the director of this movie is actor Andrea Pulsey. She's a daughter of Nancy Pulsey. And both were at the Capitol during the attacks. And also, Alexandria did film her experience and what her mother was going through during this time. So, the interesting things about when she did these interviews, most of these uh, folks, you know, claimed that they show up to a speech or a rally for Trump. And they just got involved in the whole uh, crowd mentality and went a little crazy. We entered the Capitol believed that the election was stolen, how much evidence proved that it wasn't stolen, and they just believed the lies of the moron named Trump, you know, a passive liar. He always been a passive abuse studious in the past. He's what he's good at is just BSing his way and then he BS these people to do a stupid thing. They're a bunch of pawns and they're being used and being they still haven't realized it. Uh, first, one of the people that attacked was this young girl, uh, early in her 20s. She went with her um, uncle. She believed her uncle was there to protect her, and, but it turns out it ruined her life. She lost a lot of friends, and then the year, the day before the anniversary, um, she got drunk. And pretty much, she got drunk, went behind the wheel, and wrong way on the highway, and then she killed somebody. And it's she made like two major mistakes in her life and it's going to affect her for who knows how many years what happened with her at the January 6th thing and the, you know, and the deal of actually killing somebody. And these people, most of them are, the interview she did was, she talked to this one person who was uh, in jail, a couple of people, she went to the, the court and she interviewed them and then she found them about to go to jail. And some of these folks are going to jail for a couple months, up to 35 years. And they're believed that they try to change history and help out, you know, so, so-called co-leader Trump. And one of them tried to show her his uh, spurious theories about the whole thing. And she filmed for a while and then she got really annoying and obviously it was kind of nonsense what he was trying to prove. But, you know, they have to accept their, some do accept their responsibility of their actions and some are just so untied what he did was, all right, and they're going to live about this. You know, imagine, you know, there's one scene, this one guy go to jail for like six months and can't hug his kids goodbye. He almost can't hug him for like that long. And once again, this is going to, you know, affect their, their lives because of this, because of their stupidity. You know, the guy had a tattoo of the Proud Boys, you know, on his head. So... I don't know. I feel like I don't feel sorry for these fools or anything like that. I, Nancy did a great job trying to talk to them. And at the same time, you know, these people wanted to hurt her, her, um, hurt her mom during the whole thing. So I kind of respect how she was trying to be honest and respectful. At the same time, you kind of tell she's like biting her tongue because these people are morons. So I don't know. That's how I think about it. You know, like, subscribe, maybe do better next time.